Joe picking up your first goal right here in the home opener at Hofstra Soccer Stadium in a Hofstra uniform. How exciting would that be? Very, very exciting. Um, <clears throat> when the ball came over, I, I looked around and I had about 10 metres of space each side. And they're the chances you really miss, you know what I mean, when you have too much time to think about it. Um, and obviously in the back of my mind is the fact that it's the first home game, etc. But um, when I scored, it was a very nice feeling. It was very nice. Talk about the chemistry you had with Maid up front in the first half to you, like you were playing well together. You know, I love playing with him. I really do. He's a really intelligent player. Um, and when I make movement, when I make a move, I know he knows where I am without even having to look. Same with him. I know where he is without me having to check. And um, I can bounce the ball off him. I can play one twos. I can find him on reverse balls that other players won't, won't run to. I just really like the way he plays. I love playing with him. So. And I've only played two matches, you know what I mean? I've got an assist for his goal, he's got an assist for my goal, so I really like playing with him. How big is it just to get off the mark and get a goal of this early <clears> in your career? Um, it's, it's, it's important, because I, I wanted to score last week, I wanted to score every match, obviously like every single attacking player does. But I think it's possibly better that I didn't score last week, it did this week, so I got my first goal at home. Um, yeah, it gives me a lot of confidence. Were there any nerves coming out for the first game at home here? Not really, nerves used to be a problem for me, but I sorted out a few months ago. I don't really get nerves before matches anymore. I just really was really excited to play, especially when I came out and saw more fans turned up. And I love playing on the front line, so it was at Champions League. So, yeah. Now, your team picking up the clean sheet tonight. What can you say about the defense? Every time you gave over the ball, 11 guys playing defense. What can you just say about how you guys cracked um, down that way? I like the way you say clean sheet, not shut out. I like that. That's the English word. Um, well, I think once we went 2-0 up, it was, it was vital that we maintained the lead and we didn't give anything silly away. So putting 10 men behind the ball was a short way to stop a team from breaking through. And sometimes it's a, it's a frustrating way to play because we don't get the ball and we don't move around enough, but it does win you matches and it's very effective.